I had spoken about global factors, the introduction of artificial intelligence, the need to balance uh, energy security and energy transition, and of course the imperatives of employment and skilling. Now this economic survey actually picks up on those themes. And more importantly, it tries to identify the areas and action that we need to take such that these four important challenges can be addressed as best as possible. In some sense, this survey picks up on the theme that all hands on the table must be there and no economic approach will be exclusionary or will be excluded. We need manufacturing, we need services, we need agriculture, we need the public and private sectors to act together. We need union and state governments to act together. Because given the way the global conditions are evolving, we don't have the luxury of picking and choosing specific approaches in our path towards Vixit Bharat. And that is the overall uh, theme of the survey itself. First, the global outlook. You can see on the charts here that uh, both merchandise trade volume and industrial production growth have steadily come down in terms of the averages over the last 20 years or so. Between somewhere between 5 and 10 percent, they have come down to between 0 and 5, and now they are struggling to even stay above the zero line. So in general, global growth and global trade volume growth will be difficult to come by. And therefore, the way we can grow our exports will not be because the trade pie is growing, but because we have to grab market share in terms of competitiveness and quality, etc.